Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today uh, we are going to start the unit number 5, Table Manners of a Typical Evening Meal. Dear students, Table Manners are the rules used while uh, eating. Whether we are uh, eating at home, having lunch or dinner with family or friends, good table manners are an important part of every meal. Let's start the reading. There are so many rules about proper table manners that it would take many pages to list every item. So let's move right to the meals. Number one, if you are guest at someone's house, don't sit unless the host tell you to. Number two, take the seat that is offered to you. Number three, start from the dish that is in front of you. Number four, wait for others to start eating. Dear students, come to the table when host tells you. And remember, our hands and face should be clean. Sit when everyone is seated and take the seat that is offered to you. And uh, start from the dish that is front of you. And we should wait until everyone else has been served before starting. And the host asks the guest to begin the meal. Number five, say Bismillah before eating. Number six, food is passed to the right. Number seven, taste a little of everything. Number eight, do not take big helpings. Dear students, we should begin the meal by saying Bismillah rahman rahim And then food is passed to the right if the item is not being passed to an, another person. We should taste a little of uh, everything. Take only uh, enough food to chew and uh, that can easily swallow it. And do not take big helpings. Number nine, if you do not want something, just pass it on. If they offer, they say it look good, but I think I won't have any. Thank you. Number 10. Keep the table and tablecloth as clean as possible. Do not put bones or anything on the table. Things that are not eaten should be left on a side of the plate. Dear students, do not make bad comments about the food if you don't want something that is offered to you. Or if something is offered to you, then say, I want anything. Thank you. And keep the cloths and tablecloths clean. Next is, do not spit anything out. If there is anything in your mouth that cannot be swallowed, for example, bone, seeds, etc., put it in a paper napkin. Number 12, do not talk while chewing. Wait until you have swallowed everything. Number 13, when food is passed to you, say thank you. Dear students, Food that is simply disliked should be swallowed. But the thing if uh, uh, like a bone and seed, if you cannot swallow it, then spit it in a paper napkin. It is important to close the mouth and chew the food at a, a moderate pace. Uh, loudly chewing is uh, unpleasant to listen. Always say thank you while food is passed to us. Number 14. Do not reach across the table or in front of anyone to get something it is rude ask them to pass it to you dear student instead of reaching across the table for something ask for it to be passed to you number 15 is if you need to leave the table to do something say excuse me for a moment please 16. Meals are to be slow, pleasant, leisurely time. Enjoy your food. Do not hurry. Leaving without a word is rude. So if you uh, need to leave, simply say, excuse me, please. I will be right back. Or excuse me for a moment, please. Or savor the meal and eat slowly. We should enjoy our food. Number 17. Wash the eating speed of others. Try not to be too slow or too fast. Keep up with their pace. Number 18. Do not touch your nose, hair or teeth at the table. Number 19. When you have finished eating, say what a delicious meal. Thank you so much. 
wait for all to finish before leaving the table. Dear students, eating too slowly may imply a dislike of a food. And eating too quickly is considered to be rude. When sneezing or coughing at the table is unavoidable, cover your mouth and nose with handkerchief and proceed it as quietly as possible. Do not touch your uh, nose, hair and teeth. And then... At the end, ask the permission before leaving the table with praising words like what a delicious meal, thank you so much. Dear students, I hope you understand the manners, apply these manners uh, rules regularly. We will do its exercise in our next lecture. Thank you.